Hey there, Samantha here from Using Technology Better and in this video I'm going to talk about how you can set up and use multiple Chrome profiles to separate your work and personal or perhaps school and personal content. And by that I mean things like um, your Google accounts, your work or school and personal Google accounts, keeping them separate, keeping your bookmarks separate, your browsing history separate, your settings separate, all of that kind of thing. Um, so it basically means when you're at work or at school you've kind of got one identity in Chrome that's for that and when you're doing personal things you've got an identity for that. So you're never going to get into that awkward situation where you're sharing your screen or showing someone something and all your personal stuff's popping up at work or at school. So let's look, take a look at how to do it. Now to start with I want to actually show you what not to do before we get on to the what to do. So here I am in Chrome and um, you'll see in the top right corner just here I'm, I'm signed into my Google account. I've got my little profile pic. Now if I click on that you'll see it says I'm signed here at the top as this particular user, this particular uh, address but it's also got these other accounts listed underneath and then there's a button to click add another account. Now if you look at yours you might have the same thing and what this um, is is when you're signed into multiple Google accounts in the same um, profile in Chrome or the same instance in Chrome. This is what I want you not to do okay so this is often quite convenient because it's like oh well I can be signed into multiple and I can click on them and switch between them but because they're all in the same profile in Chrome, it means all your personal and your work or school stuff is all mixed in together. And often what can happen is that you're in one, but then you get a link to something and you want to open that with your personal account, but it opens with work or vice versa. And next thing you know, you've got an access issue. So you can have problems with that kind of thing. So this is what we want to not do. What we want to do instead of this is to use these Chrome profiles. So to show you in contrast, in the top right corner here, I've got another little version of my profile picture. And if I click on that, you'll see it says I'm some here at the top, there's me, okay, it's the same kind of account you saw before. But then down the bottom, it says here other people, and it's got a couple of other versions of me listed. So these are other Chrome profiles for different Google accounts and different uses. So this first one here, for example, is a separate profile for personal me, and it's got all my personal bookmarks and my history and all my settings that's different to work. This one here is a work one, and the one I'm in now is a training one. So you can have as many of these as you like and each would run separately. So let's go ahead and look at how to get this kind of thing set up because this is what you want to do instead of this. So first of all, we need to decide or you need to decide the, the stuff you've already got. So if you've already got Chrome and you've got bookmarks and settings and all of that, you need to decide is that work or is that personal? Okay, now probably it's going to be a bit of a blend of both so you're going to have to pick one and you may have to do some exporting of your bookmarks or moving things around and that kind of thing. I can touch on that at the end. So once you have decided which one this is going to be, the one you've already got, second thing is you need to make sure you know the passwords to all of the accounts that might be signed in. So if you've got a whole lot of accounts here that are already signed in, please make sure you know the passwords because what we're going to do next is actually sign them all out. Okay. So um, now just a thought too, if you want to decide which one this should be, perhaps you should also check if there's already an account signed into Chrome and syncing. So let's actually do that first before we jump in and sign anything out. So how you can check that is you can come up to the little three dots in the top right corner and you can go into your settings here in Chrome and you'll see up the top see it says you and Google and mine says sync disabled but it's got a particular address listed here. Now I have turned off the sync in this situation but you should check that because if there is an address there and it's syncing that means that you've signed into Chrome with a particular Google account and it's syncing your bookmarks and your settings and your extensions and all that. If you've got one of them here you should definitely use that one in this particular profile you've already got and then we'll add new profiles for your others. Okay, so use that as guidance. Now, let's just jump back out of here, back to our main screen. So what we need to do now is actually get rid of all of these that are sitting down here. Now, there's a couple of ways to do it. See this one here says that it's signed out. If one is already signed out, you can click on that little drop down and you can actually remove it nice and easy. 
if it's not signed out so this one here for example isn't what you actually need to do is click sign out of all accounts so I'm going to do that now it's going to sign out of all of your Google accounts so that's why I want to make sure you've got your passwords handy then you can come up here and click sign in but before you go ahead and sign in don't rush ahead what I actually want you to do on this screen here is click remove an account and then you can remove using this little um, red minusy thing you can remove the ones that you don't actually want to use in this profile so we want to just end up having one here once you've that got that you can then sign back into that account make sure I sign into the right one beautiful so now we're signed back in and if we click back up here you'll see I don't have any other listed so we're kind of back to a clean slate this account is now here in Chrome so now that we've got this as kind of our profile for that first account we can go ahead and set up our others so to do that come up the top where you see your little picture or you might see a little initial click on that and what you can do is go down the bottom here and click add so this is where we add new ones and then this little cog up here I'll just point is where you can go and change settings or remove existing ones so we'll look at that a little bit later too so I'm going to click add and this screen will come up here and this is where we add our next profile so this might be personal use so I'm going to just call this one you know personal Sam and you can pick an icon if you want to you can create a desktop shortcut now what this does is kind of create an extra chrome icon on your desktop with a little picture of your profile picture and when you click on that it loads your your other profile so that's something you can do I'm not going to do it for my case because I'm going to show you how to sort of easily switch between them anyway so now that I've done that I'm going to click add and what's going to happen and I'll just make sure I move it in so you can see it in the screen is it's actually now opened a completely separate window but it's not just a separate window it's actually a separate profile and one way we can look at that see this little icon here is like some kind of animal and this one here is my other little picture right so they're completely separate now first thing will happen when you do this is it wants you to sign into Chrome so if you are planning on doing this because you've got a, a second Google account like maybe a work one and a personal one you could sign into Chrome here with your personal Google account now if you've only got one but you just want to keep work and school or um, home separate that's fine you don't have to sign in but if I was to do that at this point then it would be that separate profile so now that that's done I could continue and add, add do it again if I had more accounts um, but if not that's fine I've just got one now if I wanted to switch between them so let's just say I've closed this one here and I'm just back to the first one and I think oh but I want to go back to my other one my personal one you come back up here to this little icon in the top and you'll see there's personal Sam that we just created if I click on that it's going to open that one back up again so you'll see I've got them both open so I can have them minimize or maximize and I can move between them so in my day-to-day -day, it's quite common for me to have multiple profiles open maybe switching between work and personal or a couple of different work accounts so yeah and then anything in here if I was to create bookmarks or if I was to change settings or anything like that it's going to be tied just to this account so yeah if you've signed in with your Google account as well like that first screen we saw then it will also sync all of those and if you want to check that kind of syncing and what you're signed in and you can also go to those little dots like we did before into your settings and you'll see here it's actually not signed in it's not synced to anything so I could click turn on sync and sign in with a Google account and then that profile would be synced to that Google account all right so last little note with this uh, before we wrap up when you've got multiple profiles like this if you've got multiple open the one you close last is the one that opens first so if I was to close this personal Sam and then close this work Sam when I come in tomorrow and click on my Chrome icon it's going to open work Sam first and then if I wanted personal Sam I'd come up here and switch to it so just be mindful of that the one you close last is the one that opens first Okay, so hopefully that gives you everything you need to go ahead now, set up multiple profiles, keep work separate, keep uh, personal separate as well. So once you've got the profiles set up, then you can start you know, keeping everything, your bookmarks in there and all that kind of thing. So on that note, just to quickly show, if you do have some bookmarks perhaps in one profile that you want in another, you can come up to these little dots 
go into your bookmarks um, and then what will pop up there on the probably just out of view on the video but that's okay is there's a little thing called bookmarks manager so when you're in your bookmarks manager from here you can come up to the little dots and you can actually export your bookmarks now it will export all of them um, and then in the other profile you can import them all um, and once that's done you could always delete the ones you don't need so that's always a good thing to do and honestly too I often recommend doing this before you start playing around with profiles it just depends but if you're going to sort of be changing which accounts are signed in you just might want to export your bookmarks just to make sure nothing goes wrong all right any questions guys leave it as comments in the video always happy to help thanks for watching see you later Oh, oh, oh.